Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to look into the functions of lightning record edit form or the life cycle of lightning record edit form. But before getting started, if you like my videos, please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, we saw how to create a lightning record edit form, but we don't have much control over this form. If you can see in the previous video, we don't have much control in this form. So for an example, let's say in the previous video, what I did was I created a simple form. I entered the values inside it. And once I click on the create record, I had to go to this contacts separate page to view what contact was created. But in the real world, what we usually customer will ask is once the record is, once the data is submitted inside this form on click of this create record, once the record is completely successfully created, we want the user to be redirected to that particular record. So this has to be done or sometimes there can be validation rules on inside this contact. There can be a validation or this, there can be certain kind of errors that also needs to be taken care of. Like if let's say there is a validation right now, I've written a validation rule that phone number cannot be blank. So if I'm going to create an account or create a contact, if I'm not going to provide any kind of phone number, there will the validation rule will get fired, but I won't be able to see any message on, on the top. The reason is because I have not handled it. Okay. Now in order to handle the lightning record edit form in a much more better way, like on success, where we need to go on, uh, and in the case of errors, where do we want to redirect? All these things can be carried out using there are uh, using four functions of LWC uh, record edit form. One is on load. Another one is I think so on error. Next is on success and on uh, on submit. Okay, so these are the four functions. Now on load, I'm just going to give you an overview over it because right now it's, it cannot be used, right? For this requirement, it cannot be used. So on load usually works. Let's say this is my lightning record edit form. And uh, when I'm going to load this record edit form or when I'm going to load this page, the record edit form is also going to be loaded. So in that cases, if while loading, I want to do certain kind of operation. In that cases, that can be handled inside on load. Right. So if I'm going to load the record edit form and I want to do certain kind of operations while loading, this is usually applicable in the case of update. But if I want to do certain operations while loading, in that cases, we use on load. Next is on error. So if I'm going to submit the record right right now, as you can see, I have a, I have a, a validation rule saying that contact phone cannot be blank. So if I have uh, this kind of validation and if I am going to submit the record without giving any kind of phone number, the validation rule is going to get fired. In that cases, on error is going to work because we have got certain kind of error. So on error is going to work and inside on error, we can handle that how we want to show that error message to on the screen. Next is on success. On success is nothing but if your record is successfully submitted, if you want to redirect the user to the another page, that's what we do is in on success. Last and the final is on submit. On submit is just if you are submitting the record, if you want to do certain kind of operations, you, you can use on submit. Now there is a life cycle of this. I will represent you using auto draw. So first what happens is you reload the page and in that, in that case on load works. So I'm going to name it as OL. Okay. Sorry for my handwriting, but OL means on load. Okay. As soon as you refresh the page. Now what you did was you submitted whatever details you want. You entered the phone number, you entered the birth date, you entered everything inside that contact form. Once you do that and you click on the update record, what happens is submit is going to work. Submit is going to work. And on submitting of the record, the data is going to check whether there is any kind of validation rule. Like for an example, if I had submitted the form without providing the phone, num phone number, I have submitted the form. Then in that case, we have reached till submit form by uh, submit form lifecycle. Now, after submitting the form, there can be ca two cases. Either the form is submitted successfully or either there is certain kind of error inside the form. And if there is an error, we will move to the on error. I'm going to name, name it as error E or let's say E. But let's say there is no error at all. In that cases, we will move to the success part. Okay. So we are going to move to the success part. So usually how the life cycle goes first, you onload when the uh, your LWC component is unloaded. In that cases, onload is going to work. Next, let's say if you click on submit record, 
uh, the submit is going to work and after submitting the record if there is any error we will move to the on error and if there is no error then we are going to move to the on success so let's look at inside the lwc form i'm going to use all this function except on load because right now we don't need on load as we are creating the record so let's go with on submit handle submit on success success on error error so i'm going to use all of these functions in my js form i'm going to write console or let's say alert and then next let's move to the next function handle success and last is handle error so now what's going to happen is as soon as i click on submit first handle submit is going to work and after that based on whether there is a success we will go inside the success method or else we will go inside the error method as we as we have discussed inside this diagram so i'll quickly go and sub refresh it okay so now i have a validation rule i have a validation rule that phone number cannot be blank so i'm going to provide the name salesforce 4 is to 16 test and i'm going to provide certain kind of birth date let's say 13 phone number i'm not going to provide secondary so now as soon as i click on the create record as far as the life cycle first submit is going to work and after submitting the record it's going to check whether there is any kind of error or not if there is error we will go to handle error if there is no error we will go to the handle success but right now in this condition we will get an error because we have a validation rule on contact so i'm going to click on create record first we went to inside submit and we are inside error this is because we have a validation rule on phone now i'm going to provide the phone number as well as you can see phone number can be blanket saying okay so I'm going to provide certain kind of phone number again as soon as I click on create record first submit is going to work and if my submission is successful then in that case I'll go to inside success because there is no validation at all or there is no error at all in my form. So this is how you can use these forms to create record or to handle the success and errors and submits and on loads functionality. If you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel.